Hello everyone. Uh, a while back I did an animation, uh, I'm sorry, I did a tutorial on how to use Blender uh, animation capabilities and export the animation into Lightwave to overcome some of Lightwave's uh, animation problems. And now I'm going to show you um, another nice method, which is how to use the uh, Soft Image XSI Mod Tool, as you can see down here, it says XSI Mod Tool, which is a freeware version of um, the uh, XSI animation uh, program, which is specifically designed for creating uh, game content. You can see right here XNA Game Source Studio and Valve Source, so you can create uh, items for those. But what's really nice is that it's free, it's got most of the animation capabilities of XSI, and it uh, works pretty well with Lightwave stuff. So let's go ahead and import a Lightwave object. We'll go to Import, we'll go to Point Oven, Point Oven Light LWO Import, we'll just pick our, our Lightwave file. Okay, and the funky XSI browser comes up, and then we'll go and we'll go here, and I just have a test object, it's just like a sub-patched uh, cube. Uh, we'll just say import, I'm going to turn the scale down a bit, it comes in kind of large there. Import, okay. So this is a uh, Lightwave object that I, I brought in, and it's sub-patched in Lightwave, but it won't show up here unless you add sub-patches to it. We don't care about that. We're just going to do some uh, an quick animation. I'll go to the front view. And the way you, uh, by the way, the way you move in uh, XSI is hold down the S key and move, uh, drag with your various buttons, okay? All right, so then I'm going to go to Animate, and I'm just going to create a very simple skeleton. Skeleton, draw 3D chain, and I'll just left-click here. I'll just create a couple bones, and I'll right-click to end. Okay, and then um, enveloping this is very simple. Just uh, click on the Skin button here. Uh, select Envelope. Oops, sorry. i got to have my mesh selected first. Uh, select Envelope, and then it'll show you left-click to pick, uh, middle click to pick a branch and right click to end. So I'm going to middle click on this lap, bottom bone and I'll select everything and when I right click it's finished and as you can see everything's been color coordinated with the bones so all these um, vertices are attached to those bones. Okay now I can start to animate uh, and I'll set this to 30 frames for example and then I'll just uh, select some bones and start posing them. Uh, I'll hold down C which is the rotate tool. I'm just going to create some keyframes here. I have it on auto key, so it's going to set some keyframes. We'll go to the middle. Keyframe. Oops. Sorry about that. Here we go. All right. So we'll just do this award winning animation here. And then on frame 30, we'll just go back. I wanted to just show you that this does work. All right. Okay, so we have an animation of the box flipping back and forth. Okay, so now we're ready to um, go ahead and export this animation into Lightwave. So I'm going to select my mesh, and uh, then I'm going to go to File, Export, Point Oven, Point Oven Baker, and this little thing will pop up. I'm going to uh, show you how to do this. For, uh, so there's a couple things we need to do here. Um, we select our mesh. Oops, I'm sorry. I lost that. Okay, and then we have to add the meshes that we're gonna uh, export the animation for here. So we'll just say add selected, okay? And the next thing is we wanna set the number of frames that we have in our animation, that's 30. And then un under the meshes tab, uh, check mark export MDD and uh, pick MDD file folder, okay? So um, we're gonna just pick this folder, which is the same one that we had before, okay? Select, okay, and we'll go back to the front, and it's gonna give it this name, test object layer zero dot MDD is gonna be our file name. All right, and we'll just say process, and you see how quickly that went. So we'll go back to Lightwave, and we will import our object, and hit P for properties, and uh, set the subdivision order to last, just like we did for the Blender tutorial. Uh, under Displacement, uh, go down to uh, M, ooh, where's it? MD Plug, double click, and then we can uh, go ahead and select. This is the uh, MDD file that I exported this time, okay? And uh, 
that's it. We're done. So when we go through here, oops, you'll see that the uh, scale has changed here somewhat. But um, so as you see, um, we just scan through, and and our uh, our animation created in uh, XSI Mod Tool has been imported. It's, it's that easy, that simple. And of course, you know the uh, animation tools here in uh, XSI Mod Tool are are quite uh, quite nice. So I think you'll enjoy using that. Uh, yet another um, way to import animation into Lightwave.